Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Crazy Craft. In today's episode of Crazy Craft, we make this farm that drops us a bunch of OP loot and it's actually really, really cool. So if you guys want to learn how to make it and see what we get from it, go ahead and stick around until the end of the video. And if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to hit a little like and comment down below any suggestions for future videos. And also if you guys do subscribe with notifications turned on because I know that like 6% of you guys watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed. So what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that sub button. What is the worst that could happen? Let's try and go for maybe 50,000 likes on today's video. If you guys can hit that, you guys already that there's gonna be another episode of Crazy Craft this week, but other than that, let's just hop straight into the video. Okay, guys, so hopping straight into today's episode here, I have something pretty fun planned, which is gonna allow us to get very, very OP and also get us a bunch of super cool items. So this will be pretty cool and pretty overpowered. But hey, what we're gonna need to go ahead and grab first is, of course, the items for this farm or like thing that we're doing. I'm not really too sure what to call it just yet. You guys let me know what I should call it down in the comments. Um, but you guys probably can tell by the total and thumbnail what we're doing today, and that is making a super crazy overpowered farm that allows us to get a lot of like boss drops so it should be really really cool but here let's go ahead and do it so basically the first thing i'm gonna want to go ahead and make is this conveyor belt now what this conveyor belt actually does is it pushes items and i think also mobs along to one side so we're gonna want to make a bunch of these so we can actually get our farm working so i'll get on to doing that in just a little second here but yeah pretty much a long time ago uh, I, I made this um titanium and uranium shop and people have been purchasing from it i've just never actually received the payments i never went in here and collected the payments from ages ago so a lot of you guys were commenting saying that i have payments in here and you guys are right i have like 400 bucks in here so i think i might as well take that i mean i'm pretty sure it's been sitting in there for like longer than three weeks now and now uh let me go ahead and check my xp shop see if anybody's purchased anything from this oh we have another few payments in here another 500 bucks in here okay so we are making money i didn't actually realize how much we were actually making until i've just actually checked these in here let's check the build shop if there's any orders just to, you know make sure we're checking all three of our shops here okay it doesn't look like everything yeah it seems like with my build shop people People just come to me and get me in clips when uh, they want stuff so this this might have been a waste of a build but if you still think it looks pretty cool you guys let me know what you think down in the comments but yeah we have definitely accomplished a lot on this server but one of those things isn't like a super overpowered farm yeah we have the xp farm inside our base here if i can actually get up into it like we have this xp farm over here which is pretty good for xp and stuff but other than that it's pretty much useless so what we're going to be doing today is making that op mob xp farm or not even xp farm just farm in general and we're going to be needing a conveyor belt which is iron redstone and track so let's go ahead and make those real quick so let's go ahead and grab the iron here there we go we've got a block of iron that should do redstone there we go we're also gonna need sticks for the for the rails and i think i think that should be pretty much it so if i go into my crafting little thing here you can go ahead and get some iron from this bad boy go like this wait how do you make rails um i i'm pretty sure that's how you make rails no hold up hold up what the heck is this a wooden rail bed oh my, oh my goodness there's a whole new mod here that makes rails so much more difficult to make I are you serious, dude? Okay, so how, how do I get this this creo slot? Oh my god, oh, this this whole process just became a lot more tedious. And we only have these rails in here at the moment. Can I can I like wait? This doesn't even have an EMC value. Oh no, this whole process is gonna be so much more harder. I really relied on it actually having an EMC value. So now we're actually gonna have to get ourselves a bunch of tracks. Okay, but this gives us 32. So how so the wooden tie is made with oak or just slabs and then creo slot bucket. How how do you how do you get creo slot? Okay, so it's Seems that we actually need to make this like coke oven thing, which I'm not too sure how you do it. I think it's like coke, coke oven brick, which is just brick and sand. Okay, we can make that. We can make that pretty easily, I think. Oh, it's just sandy brick and sand. Okay, now let's just do the brick and sand. So here, let me go ahead and grab a bunch of sand. Yoink. And let's go ahead and grab a bunch of brick. Um, I guess I don't have bricks. Are you serious, dude? Okay, so if we go like this and then go like that. How do I seem to get these recipes wrong every single time? Okay, there we go. So now we can go ahead and just throw that in here. And I think we need eight nine and another nine so i think we need 24 of this so here coke and then let's just go ahead and let's just grab a stack why not that would never hurt grabbing a stack real quick and then the way this thing actually works is here where should we make it let's go ahead and just make it under the stairway here so what we're going to need to do is put three of them like this and then we do eight like this leaving one in the middle and then oh no not like that we need to leave one in the middle there we go and then we do another nine on top i believe just like that and this pops up when it's done so there we go it's done so now what we have to do is grab a coal and fill this this bad boy up with a bunch of coal and then over time the byproduct of this should be that that stuff that we need for the rail so hey, i'm gonna let this run for a bit hopefully we can get a bit of fluid in there and then we can finally finally just make our simple simple rails why is this so difficult okay so now that this thing's been going for a little while here we can go ahead and right click on it see how it makes five coal 
cold coke and then we can go ahead and put a bucket in there and we get a bucket of creosote just a bucket of creosote i think it's 1000 per bucket so i think we can get another one of those very nice and yeah okay so it's a thousand buckets so we'll keep letting that go uh but i have my oak slabs now so if i go ahead and put two oak slabs there and then one of these we get a wooden tie do we only get one of these oh my goodness so that means for a rail or for 64 rails we're gonna need like hold up here if i go to use of these we're gonna need four of these for a rail bed and then we're gonna use one rail bed for a track oh my this is gonna be a long process here i'm gonna cut back once i have a few more of these wooden ties because this this thing is gonna take a little while it seems like <laughs> oh my goodness is this thing slow here i let some more coal go ahead and cook i have like 13 but then we only have 10 wooden ties so this should this should be able to do the trick now so if i go ahead and put the wooden ties like this we can get two rail beds and then wait wait did we have wooden ties in here the whole time hold up no way no we've had wooden ties in this oh Oh my goodness, I waited that whole time for no reason. Are you serious? What the? Oh, I'm, I'm mad. I'm actually mad now. Okay, well here, let's go ahead and put all these rail beds back in here and wait. I thought I thought that's how we make it. We just put the rail bed in there and it makes- I'm confused. Oh, I need- I didn't even see these standard rails going down this- are you serious? Are you actually serious? I need a standard ra Hold up. No, 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 no. I need standard rails that go down the side. And those are made with the tracks. But I can't make a track if I don't have a rail. I'm super confused right now. Okay, guys. So I did a little bit of snooping. And it actually turns out that Biffle was storing some in here. Wait, which chest was it? It was... It was... Oh, yeah. In this chest. He actually has a bunch of standard rails in here. He must have got them for, like, a village or something. Because I was searching up. And apparently, you can get them from a village. So I checked our village over there. And it looked like somebody had already taken them. So I'm guessing it was Biffle who took them. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to be needing them for anything so guys i'm gonna steal them from him Shh, do not tell him if you guys let him know then i will be i'll be very mad so just do not tell him okay we, we need to keep the secret you know we are the evil super villains on the server and you know we're just gonna take it okay just don't tell him just do not do not tell him please anyway here let's go ahead and make them here so now what you do is just go with these standard rails go like this go like that and oh we didn't even need to take them all but i'll take them all anyway and there we go we finally have as many tracks as we would ever ever need oh it feels good to be a gang Okay, so now we should be able to just put redstone like this, put the tracks along the top, tracks along the bottom. And the reason we're going to need this many tracks is because this whole thing is actually... Quite, we're going to need quite a lot of tracks for it. You, you guys will see when I make it, but we, yeah, we are definitely going to need quite a few tracks for this whole thing. So, let's see... 64, 64, 64, 56. That should do the trick, I think. Okay, so now that we have these four, like, stacks of conveyor belts, that's already half of the process. Now we also are going to need a few other things to make this whole thing work. One of those things being just a bunch of hoppers, which is super easy to get. We can just get some iron. Actually, I think I already have hoppers in here. So here, let me search up. Yeah, I already have a bunch of hoppers in here. So let me just grab like a couple stacks of those. And the other thing we are going to need is this ender chest. It's not any ender chest. It's actually a special ender chest. It's called the ender chest. And we, we make it like this. And the reason it's special is because you can actually sync these up. So if I have hoppers running into this, I could have two of them placed. One at the farm and then one back here at our house and have all of the items from the farm transfer over to our house. So that's pretty cool. So here, let's go ahead and make this. We need obsidian. Obsidian, blaze rods, ender pearl, and wool. And just like that, we have one of them, and we should be able to go ahead and make- Wait, did I already have this whole thing? I think I already had one in my inventory this whole time. Oh my goodness, I am a- I'm definitely a bot here. So hey, let's go ahead and grab two of those. These should link up together, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think- I think that is all we need. Wait, 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 no, there's one more thing, one more thing. The most important thing, actually, that's gonna kill these bosses. It is called the portal- wait, no, the high energy pellet launcher. We just need iron, gold, and redstone for this. So it shouldn't be too hard to get. Okay. Okay, so this looks like it's just iron like that and then gold and then redstone am i not mistaken okay no that's right and that should be everything we need now is the fun part we're gonna go over to the unstable ant dimension trying to find a boss spawner and we're gonna get this thing set up so first of all i need to find an unstable ant i have no idea where the heck i'm gonna find one of those i also found this like statue a while back and asked you guys if i should explore it i never actually did so hey let's go ahead and break this bad boy and then just head down here see if there's anything fun or interesting that we could actually use down here oh the way down is this a scorpion why is there a scorpion down here oh my goodness okay so here this is the room with all the good stuff in why are there so many scorpions holy smokes what the what the heck oh my oh my oh my get out of here jeez louise that is a lot of scorpions so if we look under the chests okay we've got some ender pole dust uh ender lily seeds that's pretty cool i think the other stuff is pretty useless oh another chest here uh a quantron crystal another ender lily seed wait this is all pretty bad stuff right now are you is this all we got that was pretty trash and i'm kind of regretting coming down here in the first place now and the search for the unstable ants has ended we have an unstable ant nest right here now where are the unstable ant? Oh, okay it looks like there's an unstable ant right here is there any more or is that literally just the one why are you so far away from your ant nest buddy okay here let's go ahead and click on him and get into the unstable ant damage 
Churn, woo! Oh my, oh my goodness, why is there, why is there so much stuff in here right now? There's a lot of things that look very dangerous and I'm honestly quite scared. But our next mission here is not to find these dragons, but it's actually to find one of these. Wait, is this exactly what we are looking for? Yep, this is exactly what we are looking for actually. So I need to be careful not to get too close to it because if I do, things will start spawning. But our main goal here is to destroy all of these spawners on the outside because we're not gonna be needing any of these. The only ones we're actually interested in is this one down here, this Emperor Scorpion like spawner. And oh, wait, what, what is, why are there so many mobs right now? What are these spawn rates? What the, these fish are everywhere. Oh, is, it, is this gonna break the server? Oh my god. Okay, here, let's go ahead and break all the spawners before they start spawning even more things. So here, let's get rid of, the, oh my, ah, what the heck is that? Oh, let me just get rid of you. Let me get rid of you. Get out of here, you stupid bot. Okay, well now all of those spawners are broken. I still need to get rid of all of these mobs actually. So here, let me go ahead and grab a red guitar real quick, just like this. Get it all the way leveled up and just start going ham on absolutely everything in the area here. Oh my goodness. Get out of here absolutely everything. Okay, I even changed it to slay all mode, so this should actually kill absolutely everything now, including all of these stupid, stupid butterflies. Okay, well now that majority of mobs have been killed, we can go ahead and enter this thing, get rid of the spawners on the inside, which are our next issue just to make sure things don't spawn. Oh, did somebody already take on this whole thing? Okay, I, I guess somebody actually already did that for us by taking on the whole tower. Oh, wait, where's the next level down? Okay, next level down just here. Uh, did somebody destroy all these spawners? Yep, somebody destroyed all these spawners. What about the last level? These spawners are all destroyed as well. Okay, well, perfect. Honestly, that's that really does help us out. And even the last one down here, all destroyed. Okay, so now that every, all the spawners have been destroyed, the only things that should spawn have, should be these Emperor Scorpions. Now, whenever these do start spawning, I'm not sure why they're not spawning just yet, but they should start spawning pretty soon here. Maybe it's because of all the things around. Hey, let's get rid of all of those things real fast. There we go. You guys want to spawn now? Or is it too light, maybe? It might be because it's daytime. Maybe I have to wait until nighttime. But anyway, the fact that they're not spawning is actually pretty good for us because we got to start off by digging this whole thing down by two or I think it's three blocks actually. So we got to like dig down three blocks absolutely everywhere. So this is going to take me a little while here. But once we have this done, you guys will see exactly, exactly how this thing's about to work. Okay, so one of them has spawned right now. Hopefully they can stop spawning. But you guys can see when I killed that guy, he dropped a bunch of cool things, including obsidian, diamond armor, diamond tools, and a lot of meat and stuff. And I think they can even drop like ultimate weapons and stuff. So these things do drop some pretty cool things, but we need to start destroying this stuff before before it gets too bad here. Because I don't I don't want a bunch of them spawning just yet. We want to be able to dig this area out first. I actually have no idea why he's not attacking us right now. I think it's because we might be stuck inside the spawner there, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, and just like that, we went ahead and emptied out this bad boy. I'm not sure why this guy isn't attacking me, but I, I guess we'll just go ahead and quickly finish him off here. Get out of here. Why are you not dead? Hello? What, what the heck? Why is he not dying? Okay, there we go. Finally dead. But now that we have this area all laid out, we can go ahead and start placing down these conveyor belts. And this is what's going to push everything over this one direction. We need to make sure we're doing it the right way. Okay, well, there, we're doing it the wrong way. So good thing that we realized that. I want them all to be pushed to this side of the room. So we just need to go ahead and place all of these conveyor belts down. Hopefully, hopefully we have enough. I don't want to have to make some more of these, but you know, we might have to, but hopefully, hopefully we can get all of these done. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and placed all the ones that we had, and my initial idea was to fill this whole bottom floor up with these conveyor belts, but I didn't even have enough to finish like one every other one. So hopefully because of the size of the Emperor Scorpions, this shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, I've gone ahead and set up the whole hopper system as well. I'm just worried that some items might fall down the middles maybe, but there shouldn't, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I could just go ahead and put some more uh, hoppers there and we should be able to fix that. But then the next thing we are going to need for this thing to work is just one of these high energy pellet launchers placed right down, right, right. Oh my, what, what is going on with the server right now? Are you, is the server okay? I'm going to restart the server. But hey, let's go ahead and place down one high energy energy pellet launcher right there and then we just need to make a lever and uh, go ahead and grab that real fast and put that right there and that should go ahead and start launching the death ball of death i'm not sure why it's not Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, let me go ahead and restart the server and hopefully this will be a lot smoother. Okay, so now that we've built the main farm over in the unstable end dimension, now we gotta build like the actual storage unit where we are gonna collect all our things. So, oh, this creeper. I hate this game so, so much. Oh my God. 
I didn't even see him. Where was he at? Oh my god. Okay, let's go ahead and fix this up real fast. Well, that's the best. That's the best we can do for now. Well, anyway, here, if I go ahead and grab some crystal chests from my EMC tablet here and use our hopper and then use the ender chest, we should be able to go ahead and do something maybe like this, I'm guessing, and just go ahead and put some hoppers in the back there and then in the top there, just go ahead and throw the ender chest and this should slowly but surely transfer everything through. Now, since the chunk isn't actually technically loaded, this won't actually be working just yet. But all we gotta do is go back over into the unstable ant dimension. I'll fix this later, guys, I promise. But if we go back over into the unstable ant dimension, we should, actually, we should probably go ahead and grab one and bring it over to our cage again. Okay, let me grab some zookeeper shards and then a golden lasso. And we can get this whole thing up and running pretty fast here, actually. Okay, so now that we have this unstable ant over here, I can go ahead and put him in the golden lasso, take him back to our house, hit him with the zookeeper shard, and we should just be able to keep him from forever if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Why can I not fly right now? What is, what is going on with my flight ability? Oh my god, get out of here. You know what? I'm going back home in my house, pet. Okay, so now we go ahead and put the unstable... I Oh, dude, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. No, no going on the outside there. You just stay in the middle there. And if I hit you with the gazooki bashard... There you go, now you're mine forever. <laughs> so let's go back over to the farm, which should just be in this spawn chunk here, pretty close by anyway, if I can find it somewhere. I think it might be this one down here. Is it this one? No, okay, this isn't the correct one. So it might be this one over here then? Okay, so if it's not that one there, it might be this one over here. I set another waypoint. Let's go ahead and fly on over and hopefully it's our farm, right? Oh, okay, we're lagging. It probably is the farm by the sense of things because there's a bunch of drag. Yeah, I, th I think I think we're in the right spot. Yep, we're in the right spot. Oh my, why is it so laggy in this chunk? Maybe this chunk's just messed up or something? I don't know. But here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is FK for a little, it might be all the items on the floor actually. Hey, I'm gonna FK here for a little while. Maybe the items might despawn and clear up the lag a little bit. Where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? Wait, I forget. Oh, here it is right here. So yeah, I'm just gonna AFK directly on top of this spawner for a little while. Let things spawn in and stuff and see how much loot we can actually get from this thing. It should be pretty... It should be pretty good. Okay, guys, so it's like AFK for all of maybe three minutes because I don't actually have too much time. But this is already what we all got. We got a bunch of random diamond enchanted stuff. We got the ultimate bow. We got 64 and three diamonds. We got a bunch of Minisio essence. I think all the cobblestone and stuff was from when I was making it. It just kind of got, it fell in kind of the system, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, we basically got like a full set of diamond armor within a few minutes. Like this thing is really, really OP. I'm sure if we leave it on for a while, it will produce us even more stuff. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that we also get uranium and titanium. Yeah, we get uranium, titanium and even some gold from it as well and a bunch of obsidian as well so all of this stuff has emc value but the enchanted stuff i'm hoping that maybe we can just get a super enchanted pickaxe or diamond sword or something like that i think it could be pretty useful to have something like that but yeah i think that's all that has come through just yet and also it's super super laggy over there so i'm not sure why that's doing that but it's super laggy over there so hopefully we can fix that lag and make it run a little bit smoother and a little bit better with time but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode and if you guys have any idea on what i should do next maybe we do the same kind of design with a different spawner i think that could be kind of cool. Maybe we try and get a Mobzilla farm. I'm not too sure if that's even possible. If there is a way of making a Mobzilla farm, you guys know, let me know with a comment down below. But yeah, I think it could be really, really fun to make that kind of farm again, but set that up to a different type of system. I'm not too sure. But as always, if you guys did enjoy the video, should sure to hit it with a like, comment down what your favorite part of the video was, and subscribe if you are new with notifications turned on, because I know that like 60% of you guys watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed. So what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that sub button. But other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys all again next time. Peace.